if you enjoy learning about history and you need something to do this weekend, you may consider taking the drive out to Imperial, Texas. Here's why. If you travel down Highway 67, somewhere out in the desert between McCamey and Fort Stockton, you'll drive past the crossroads of Gerben. Most people wouldn't give it a glance unless they pulled over at McKee's Bar, the only sign of human habitation out in this desert country. But just 12 miles down FM 11 on the banks of the Pecos River is what many argue is the most historic site in Texas, Horsehead Crossing. It was on this very spot that the goodnight loving cattle drive immortalized the lonesome dove crossed the Pecos River and continued north to Fort Sumner in New Mexico. Before the cowboys came the immigrant wagon trains headed to the gold fields of California in 1849. And a few years later, the Butterfield stage line made its cross country trek, crossing right here at Horsehead Crossing. And even earlier, it was the Comanches following the Comanche War Trail and then the conquistadors searching for gold. This weekend on October 28th and 29th, the Pecos County Historical Commission and the Good Night Loving Trail Inc. will host the Trails of Time. Now, uh, yes, this weekend we've got a horses crossing naming history days coming up. We've got a lot of uh, reenactors coming in, after 12 counties, seven or eight truck wagons, 186 cross reenactors, three Native American Indian tribes, and we have three breakfast, dinner, and seven, and seven round Going on. It's one of the most famous spots in Texas, second only to possibly the Alamo. We'll be doing a lot of living history, the school kids be your Friday. Really a cool event. After two days of excitement, it will return to being one of the most forlorn historical sites in the Lone Star State. Unlike the Alamo that's in the middle of San Antonio or the San Jacinto Monument near Houston, there are no major cities near Horsehead Crossing. The eminent Texas folklorist, J. Frank Doby, once wrote that no one ever lingered at Horsehead. It was a place people passed through, and that's the way it remains today. But if you want to catch a taste of what it must have been like 150 years ago, come on out this Halloween weekend, October 20th and 29th. There may even be a few ghosts present from the bodies buried along the banks of the Pecos. For News West 9, I'm Kirby Warnock reporting. Well, thank you very much, Kirby. Check